guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here if you are new here please make sure you go ahead and slap the shit out of that like button because it helps support my channel and also make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss any more of my television reviews or reactions as well as music reactions and my own original music and a bunch of other fun stuff i have here planned for the channel also special shout out to everyone over on patreon thank you so much for supporting my channel past liking subscribing and sharing if you want to do that you are more than welcome to support me further over on patreon the link will be in the description box down below you will get access to early released videos blocked videos behind the scenes content and much much more now today we are reviewing it's a sin from hbo max and let me just say that they are hitting it out like the what is the what is the term the ballpark or the home run they're hitting it out the park they're hitting it out the park so they are hitting it out the park with these amazing amazing shows that capture the feelings of certain groups and one of them that i just saw i don't know if you, this is like off topic but they did a show called industry that focused on like the financial district of london and it was just amazing for them to zoom in on something special and now they have zoomed in um on something special with it's a sin and they also did the same thing with veneno when they kind of zoomed in on the trans community and gave that such a spotlight and now they had the nerve to do it with the 80s and with the gay people and with london and it just rocked my world. I can't even be begin to explain how much it changed me and made me feel so many different emotions. I just wanted to come on here and dump my feelings about the series and the, and the show and the characters um, because it's, it's worth speaking about. And I'm not someone who likes to speak about things that are this dark, um, but I really, really feel like with the platform that I have here, I have like a duty almost to encourage people to watch something like this because it really, really is truly educational, especially if you are gay and involved in the LGBT community at all it really really changed my life so the show is about a group of friends in the it takes place in the 80s so it's about 80 to the 90s and um it's very interesting because i was born in 91 so to just see all the pain and struggle that my people went through <laughs> before i was even born truly truly almost makes me feel guilty in a way that i have partied at so many prides and parties and things like that over the years and um not truly understanding what I was celebrating until knowing this film. And it's not that I didn't know. I mean, I knew the words. I knew the things that were happening, that they weren't being treated right, that they were calling it the gay disease, that they that they were, you know, ostracized by their families, whether they were gay or that whether they had HIV or not. Just so many painful things. But I think for this television series to go into effect and for them to put, like, a vision to all of the painful things thoughts and memories that I already had for them made it all the more real and the writer or director or someone who is strongly involved in it is the same person who did Queer as Folk so if you don't know what that is um if you're gay I'm sure you do it was just one of the first big shows on TV I believe it came on Showtime I remember like always trying to watch it but it was like super mature so I couldn't watch it but at the same time like um I really wanted to see it because it was the only kind of look into gay life and um down the road I was able to get the box sets and enjoy it as like an adult and everything like that and I love Queer as Folk. Everyone who knows Queer as Folk loves it to death. It's a lot of our kind of first gay show or gay like media um, but it's just a mind, it's kind of like a mind fuck to know that that came out in like the early 2000s and then I was born in 91 and just literally the 10 years before I was born it was this bad. Like the progress of, 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 of tossing someone with the infection into a corner of the room and locking them in there to them being able to come home and die peacefully in their home with their families is just such a, a, a mind bend to me. The fact that people were even treated that way and there was so much n lack of knowledge about the disease in general and, and, and the gay community took so much of those lashings for not only being gay and being different and being and being and being quote unquote weird, but also being the, what the thought what they thought at the time the creators of this disease that was also spreading to straight people. I just couldn't imagine that world having another reason to hate our community. And at that time, it was a huge reason because they were quote unquote possibly sp sp the largest group that was spreading this disease, and that's what it ended up being. But like it was at the time, they were literally thinking that the gays created it and. It's just... 
very sad, very, very heartbreaking. And I just really want people, um, both younger and, and gay. First, I want the younger people to watch the show and truly understand where the community has come from and what you're celebrating with all the prides and all that besides Stonewall and all of that, which you're truly, truly celebrating, which for now, for me in the future, from now on, I will be celebrating all those lives that were lost during this time that were just cut so short because of, of, of the lack of like technology and science and just knowledge of this disease and it's just so heartbreaking that they took so much of those lashings like I said and it just breaks my heart but the, the best part and I guess the flip side and the positive aspect to this whole series was the amount of friendship that I saw and how even though they weren't related they were just friends even Jill the girl who was involved with them there was so much love from her and there was so much there was so much passion in her heart and, and realness. And in my head, I had thought there had to be a couple of her. There had to be 10 or maybe 10 or 11 more Jills in not only London, but maybe America too, where those women were helping men get through this process and just being a friend, being an ally, being what they needed to kind of get through those years to get into the 90s. Not... Uh, I just, I feel grateful. I feel the need to do something. I feel the need. I mean, I really, really do hope that as my platform begins to grow and things begin to change for me, I can really start to give back. And when I can, I know I really want to focus in on the older gay community as well as the younger gay community, as well as homeless gay and tossed out gay and HIV and AIDS, all those things that are just like things that I kind of brushed aside because they didn't have to deal with me I mean, I was younger and I was a little bit more shallow all those things that all the pain and things that happen to make sure that I can do what I'm doing today I have to pay tribute to them I have to pay respect to them I have to help them I have to um, donate I have to organize things I really feel like this passion in my heart to like I know that all this can't be fixed but awareness can continue to be spread and um, I had watched a small review um, before I did this of an older gay man who who lived during those years and he was doing his review on the show and he was saying that he, that he lived through it and it it really was touching and he was saying that more than anything he felt um anger after watching it and and one and, and resentment and like wanting like a type of like revenge for the way that he and his friends were treated at that time and i don't although i don't condone i don't condone i don't condone like um you know, revenge and all that, I do want to make it a point to say that as a younger person and a younger individual in the LGBT community that, like, I will strive to make up for all the pain that was caused for the community back then and even now and and, and so forth. And I, I know that I'm not a huge person in the world, but I do plan on growing. I do plan on having a larger um, special voice for everyone to, to know what's on my mind and, and what to say. And when I was watching the show, I wasn't intending on doing a reaction and review and discussing it but I then realized I wouldn't even have the platform to openly be gay and be myself on YouTube I feel like if it wasn't for the thousands of gay men and people in the LGBT community who died for me and and and, and just were themselves for me like it took so much of thousands and thousands of people to come out and push society push society to where we are today and if it wasn't for all those people pushing i would not be able to do what i do today and that's what i felt when i saw this show as I, I saw all the trauma all the pain all the happiness and all the growth our community went through through all the 80s up until the 90s and to think that i was born right at a time where acceptance was just just beginning i feel I feel so grateful and I feel like it's the perfect time for me to take that small seed of acceptance and grow it even larger because in, at the end of the day, uh, 20, 30, 40 years from now, I want the people coming out at that time for it to be a breeze and we're already so close to that. We're already so close to this huge life of acceptance and just like I'm truly being whole. We're not there yet, but we're getting closer and closer and we are making progress. So I will be using my platform to, to push that progress and push knowledge and really, really get people to understand that equality is beautiful and, and we are beautiful and you are beautiful. And there's just, there's so much. I really, really, I could go on for hours about this, but I just wanted to take the second to advocate for the show um, and let you guys know that in the future I really really plan on helping out um, the world uh, but also just the community and and I am very proud to be who I am and oh, sorry I'm trying not to cry but I'm very very proud to be who I am and um, 
my heart truly goes out to everyone back then who went through all those traumatic experiences and um you know when i say that i'm not even just speaking for the lgbt community i just i, I even speak for everything that happened with all the racism that's happened in the world too there's just so much progress that has to be made in whole and and there already has been so much progress made, but we can't sit back and kind of just think like, oh, okay, they went through a hard time and then now it's better. Because it's not. And it's not better for so many different groups and so many different individuals. And as the years are going by, even more titles are coming out and even more things and pronouns and things like that are coming out. And the, as those are new and fresh to society, those people are not accepted. So we have to keep on pushing and teaching and getting people to accept everyone as they are. Um, that's what's truly important. But if you guys have a chance, watch this show. Let it educate you. Let it inspire you. Let it remember where you came from. If you're straight and you're a woman or, or a man, straight man, whatever it is, it, the show can be for everybody. Learn to be an ally. Learn to be an ally to um, a group that experienced something painful and learn their history and, and help them. And you never know when that help can come back to you. I and, mean, you know, we can all be a family here. Um, but I think in order for that to happen, for everyone to really, truly accept one another, it's going to take understanding and knowing everyone's kind of story and everyone's history and background. Um, and you get that from this show. So check it out. It is on HBO Max. This is not an ad or this is not sponsored or endorsed or anything like that. This is just me wanting to push the information that I've seen on this show out into the world. Because um, it's a great program. So check it out. I love you guys so much. Please make sure you go ahead and slap the shit out of that like button. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss a future video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.